What's up, everyone? It's Connor Maynard here, and you're at Popularity. First of all, all the Justin Bieber comparisons, does that, yeah. is that starting to kind of drive you crazy, or do you still see it as just an overall compliment? Um, and yeah, I think for me it's kind of, you know, for one, it, it's, it's definitely flattering um, in terms of being compared to someone who is, you know, so kind of massive in the music industry when it's so early in my career, but I feel that... Um, as far as uh, that that comparison really goes, as far as the fact you know we're both we're both young, we both came for YouTube. I think with the music on when the when the albums finally release and people get to hear you know my entire sound, I think there's a lot of differences there, and I feel like that kind of does cut, cut through the comparison. I feel like it's kind of like you know it's just it's just a, a bit of a throwaway comparison because it's just because I'm young and 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 came from the same you know uh, was noticed in the same way. Um, uh, but you know the, mu the music that I, that I do is kind of is different. Obviously, I'm British as well, so I've got a British influence. And um, yeah, so I think for me, it's kind of um, I'm just waiting for the moment where you know people um, I'm kind of seen as my own artist, and you know it's, it's, it's too late for comparisons. And you know when people start getting <laughs> compared to me, like saying, "Oh, he's the new Conor Maynard," I think that'll be the mm -hmm. that'll be the goal. How would you define your upcoming album, Contrast? In terms of sound, what did you hope to accomplish? Um, I think I just wanted to kind of accomplish a very kind of me sound. I wanted to kind of like to be complete. I don't want to kind of follow anyone. I remember I was kind of going, when I was kind of making my album, I was going with the saying, um, uh, it's better to, uh, it's better to fail in originality than it is to succeed in imitation. So I was kind of going, going like I had that phrase in my head when I was kind of making the album. I was kind of thinking, you know, I don't want to follow anyone. I don't want to try and copy anyone. I want to kind of have my own sound, and if it does well, then it's kind of like, it's amazing because it's my own sound and it's what I wanted to do, so, um, yeah, I've kind of been, I think it's a kind of, I suppose a mixture of like urban R&B pop kind of thing, and then, um, yeah, it's kind of a, a twist, a, a real, a really me kind of twist on it, so, so yeah, I think people will be um, surprised when they hear it. As the release approaches, does the weight get frustrating? Are there nerves involved? <laughs> Um, yeah, I think, you know, I think uh, um, I think with any artist, I think when your first album's about to be released, there's obviously a lot of kind of nerves uh, around. I feel like, um, for me, it's definitely an uh, anxious weight kind of thing. I feel like, because obviously, I've, 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 it's a very versatile album as well. There's a lot of different kind of tracks on there that, you know, have a different sound. And, you know, I, I want to kind of, I've got a lot of fans that are kind of uh, massive fans of the big upbeat tracks, and I've got fans that are massive fans of kind of the... The, the slow kind of piano ballads so I've kind of tried to fit in everything to please everyone and I've, I think for me my fans have been waiting for so long for this album I, don't, I definitely don't want to disappoint so I kind of have to make sure that it's 110% before I finally release it so I think for me it's just that it's just that moment now where I'm trying to make it completely um, 110% you know, like nothing short than perfect before they get to hear it so I'm in mean, that, uh, that, that frame of mind right now so yeah can you talk a bit about some of the highs and the lows that you experienced while creating the album? Um, I think some of the lows were probably the fact that I, uh, you know, I um, I didn't really get to see my family very much. Um, I moved away. I kind of uh, live. I live. I'm originally from Brighton, which is kind of the south coast of the UK. Um, and now I live in uh, London, so I, I live by myself in London. So you know, it's, it's, it's a much more kind of less often. I would see my friends. I would see my my family. Um. So, you know, that was kind of a, uh, difficult sometimes, you know, where I kind of, I don't even really contact them through the phone, it wasn't really the same, I suppose, kind of seeing them, from seeing them every day, you know, living with them to kind of not seeing them at all was kind of, you know, crazy, but, um, you know, always really supportive and always kind of really cool about it, they always used to ask me kind of what was going on, like what I was doing next, so, you yeah, know, they were supportive, I think, um, some of the good things are probably, you know, like the, uh, the amazing people I've had a chance to meet and work with, um, I mean, I had, I, had a, I spent a week in Miami with uh, Pharrell Williams, so you know that was kind of a crazy experience being able to work with uh, him in a studio in Miami. Um, I got to work with Neo. Um, I got to meet people such as uh, Ludacris, Tyler Creator, Lil Wayne, Shakira, um, a whole bunch of like random, random people. But I've, I've met some kind of like you know, incredible people in the music industry and like really kind of like leaders in the in the game kind of thing. So. Um, I think for me that was kind of one of my one of my favorite things was the people I got to meet and uh, and got to work with on my album. So yeah. What expectations do you have for yourself when you're creating music? I think for me it was always kind of a, was a bit of pressure because I think with my covers I kind of never gave anything less than what I thought was perfect kind of thing. So when it came to make my own material, I didn't want to equal it. I wanted to make it even better. So when I came, to, yeah. So when it came to creating original songs, it was a bit like, oh god, I've got, to, I've got to make these better than my covers. And you know, it wasn't, it wasn't easy because I did kind of work so hard on my covers when I was when I was at home and doing doing all of that for YouTube. Um, I 
I didn't make it easy for myself, kind of let it down the line. So um, I think, you know, I think for me, it's like I have a very high expectation of the music I release and what, I, what when I'm in the studio and what I kind of make, you know, if, if, if I'm in the studio and we're writing a track and there's a, there's a track we're writing to, I'm thinking if, if I don't feel it's right, then, you know, we have to start again from something else. So um, I definitely have a very high expectation because I just don't want to disappoint anyone. I want the fans to get the best album they possibly can from me. Working on tracks, are you ever surprised at how good they become? Did any of the, the tracks surprise you on this album? Yeah, I think when we were making Can't Say No, it was kind of, it was really crazy because I think obviously the, the, the track itself is very minimalistic. There's not really much going on. It's just the kind of this bass line that kind of just drives the whole song. And um, so obviously when we were kind of writing it, I was like, oh, okay, cool, this is cool, this is cool. And then as we write, we, we continued kind of writing it and when it finished, it was crazy because we kind of listened to it back and it just sounded really cool. And to kind of go from this song that's literally like nothing, it was just one drum for the entire song, to what happened... Um, Obviously, it became the first single, so that was, you know, that was really crazy to see that. And I think that's definitely one of the main um, songs that I really, really um, was surprised about how good it came out. So that's definitely one of my, uh, my shockers, I think, that was it. So, yeah. Were you ever unsure of the direction that you wanted to take your music in? I think when I was first signed and when we kind of we were kind of trying to find the direction, I think that was when it was kind of a confusing time because we didn't really know what we were going for, what kind of music we were going to make. And uh, I think it, it took about probably eight months before we kind of really knew where we were going. I remember I did my first trip to America and I was in the studio in LA and we made this song. And funny enough, it's my next single. It's called A Vegas Girl. Um, and yeah, we had, we had this song and, we were, and I think that's what really defined um, the direction. I think that was the kind of the pivotal moment in my kind of the creation of my album. That was that was kind of a real moment where we kind of stepped back and went, okay, this is this is where we need to go. And um, I think that's why kind of we went with we went with that in the end. And yeah, we ran with that direction. I feel like um, so it was a really cool direction to go in. So yeah. What would you say was the hardest song on the album to create? Um. Hmm. Wow, that's kind of difficult. Um, I mean, there were songs that are very hard to sing, and there's a track called Drowning. It's actually already, I think it's already available. I don't know, maybe that's just in the UK, but um, there's a there's a track called Drowning that was kind of extremely high. <laughs> so um, that was kind of really difficult to sing, but I love the song so much that I kind of had to do it, and I ended up losing my voice for about a month after recording it because, you know, it was so difficult to sing. But, um, yeah, it was one of my kind of my favourite tracks, so I really had to record it and do it well. So I kind of I did that, and then another track was uh, Animal. That was kind of difficult because when I heard the backing track, I loved it so much. I kind I I had to like we had, I knew that we had to make a sick song over it. I was with those producers, and we were trying to we were all writing it together, and like, I was so kind of I was such a perfectionist in that session because I wanted it to be like as good as it possibly could be. So like, I was I was kind of I was kind of getting rid of things and all this kind of thing, and that was kind of difficult to make because I loved the backing track so much. I had to make sure the song over it was really cool. So so yeah, I think normally it's just when I want it to be perfect, that's the hardest ones to do. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Was there anything about the creation process this time around that you would want to change next time? Um, I don't think so, you know, I think um, with me, I feel like I've, I've worked with some amazing people, I got comfortable with the producers that I got comfortable with, and I ended up working with them a lot. Um, I think, yeah, I think I had to kind of work with the sessions that didn't really work out as well as I hoped, um, to see, you know, who I work best with and what kind of, um, what kind of people I work best with, so um, I think for me it was definitely a, a learning curve, and the, the, the sessions that didn't go well, we still still allowed me to learn from them, so I feel like you know everything I did was kind of cool, and um, I think yeah, I think it was all good. I feel I, I wouldn't have asked it to happen any quicker either, because I feel like right now I've kind of yeah I've, I've learned a lot. And my voice has kind of kind of got a lot kind of better than it was my first sign, so I feel like um yeah I feel like I, I wouldn't really change much at all. So, yeah. Of everyone that you worked on the album with, who taught you the most valuable lesson, and what was it? Um, I think. Um, when I was working for Pharrell, he was very kind of insightful and very kind of, um, had a lot of advice to give. Obviously, he's kind of been in the music industry for a long time, and I feel like the advice I got from him was really cool. He kind of told me, you know, for one, when you're making your music, it was kind of the same thing I was talking about, where you need to always separate yourself. You never need to kind of, never put yourself in a position where you're directly competing with anyone. Always try and separate yourself 
so you have your own lane and you know you're running that lane so I feel, I feel like he kind of said to me like don't it's the same kind of thing like don't try and imitate anyone always kind of you know kind of be as original as possible and always kind of do exactly what you want to do and um and also he kind of told me that for one, the main thing is always kind of making sure you enjoy every second of what you're doing. Um, if it gets to the point where you're not enjoying it, then you know, you've got to change something. I feel like a lot of the things you have to do aren't exactly like the funnest things. So you've got to make sure that when you're doing your shows and when you're in the studio that you are enjoying that kind of like as much as possible. So like it will balance it out and you don't kind of drive yourself insane. You've just got to make sure that, you know, wh- whatever you're doing, you've got to kind of try and enjoy every moment. And, and yeah, don't, yeah, I suppose just don't kind of, um, let it kind of like run you, like overtake you. You've got to kind of always keep ahead of it and, and yeah, just enjoy yourself. So, yeah. How did you, when you had a collection of songs, know that it was the album? Is it just kind of like a gut feeling you get, or is there more to it than that? Um, I feel, I, you know what, I, I kind of feel like you never really feel like it's done. I feel like for me, I could spend the rest of my life making my first album, like changing it. And I feel like sometimes you've got to step back and just be like, okay, cool, like this, this, this is it. And, there's no, there's no more changes I need to make. This is what I need to release. Um, I feel like you never really know. I feel like you just got to take a moment where you just got to find it in yourself to stop. Kind of like find it in yourself to kind of stop recording, stop making new songs, and just settle with it. I think because obviously you're always going to want to find better. You're always going to want to find more. And um, and I feel like yeah, I think sometimes you've got to be able to like you know have a control of yourself to just stop. But I think I'm definitely happy with kind of what I've got so far. I mean, there are a few songs I'm still rounding off. There's still a few songs that are yet to record. It's not entirely finished yet. So um, but I feel like I'm in a very good place in terms of I'm really happy with the tracks that have made it to the album. And yeah, I can't wait to finish off the last few ones and and let you guys hear it. So yeah, it should be cool. What's the best part about making music? Um, I think just kind of being in the studio and vibing with all the, the people, the different people that I meet, I feel like that's my uh, favorite thing, just being in the, people, the studio with people I get on with really well, that I have fun with, um, that I really, you know, I really enjoy my time with. And um, yeah, I think that's just my favorite part, kind of being in the studio and vibing off all the producers that I find, you know, really funny or like kind of really easy to work with. And any final thoughts, anything that you'd like to say to the readers of Popularity? Um... I want to say what's up to all the maniacs if there are already some out there. Um, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to them for kind of the support they've given me so far because obviously I wouldn't be where I am right now if it wasn't for them. Um, a massive what's up to all the, uh, the readers that don't know who I am yet and hopefully they get to they hear my tracks and, and become a fan. And then, yeah, a massive, a massive thank you to Popularity for featuring me. Um, yeah, for featuring me, so I'm, I'm really happy with that, and I can't wait to meet you guys, and hopefully you guys get to come to a show if I ever do one in there. Uh, they're around here soon, so it should be real fun.